OEE stands for Overall Equipment Effectiveness, which is the worldwide established metric for measuring the total productivity of a factory or product line. OEE was designed to monitor the success of production activities by recording respective losses for a defined period of time. OEE is broken up into three main categories, availability, performance, and quality. Availability refers to the time a machine or factory is available for operation. That available time can be quickly reduced by events such as unscheduled meetings, missing instructions, breakdowns, missing materials, or unplanned downtime. The availability factor can be calculated by dividing net operating time by planned operating time. Next, we will cover performance. Performance represents the output of a machine or factory and compares the planned cycle time of a product line to its actual cycle time. A product line's performance factor can be lowered due to events such as cycle time losses, shortfalls in output, and the introduction of new associates. Performance can be calculated by multiplying planned cycle time by the number of units produced and then dividing by net operating time. The final component of OEE is quality, which represents the finished value of each product produced. Quality can be impacted by factors such as process mistakes, quality losses, and poor quality parts. The quality factor is calculated by first solving the total number of good units produced. This is done by subtracting the number of bad units from the total number of units produced and then dividing the number of good units by the number of total units produced. These three components form the gap between a company's planned operating time and its actual production time. Multiplying the three factors together will produce your OEE percentage. The closer your OEE percentage is to 100, the more effective your equipment is. This is known as the standard formula and is the easiest method used for calculating OEE. There are two additional methods for calculating OEE, the top-down method and the bottom-up method. Let's first begin by examining the top-down method. OEE can be calculated using the top-down method by dividing net production time by planned production time. In this method, net production time is calculated by subtracting the three OEE components, availability, quality, and performance from the planned production time. The final formula is then planned production time minus availability, quality, and performance divided by planned production time. The last method for calculating OEE is the bottom-up method. The bottom-up method is identical to the top-down method, also calculated by dividing net production time by planned production time. However, this method calculates net production time differently than the top-down method. Planned production time is considered a fixed variable in this method, but net production time will vary based on the number of good units produced and the accuracy of your target cycle time per unit. This method solves for net production time by then multiplying these two factors. When calculating OEE with the bottom-up method, there are two possible sources that could cause your planned and net production time to not be equal. Either the target cycle time per unit used in the net production time formula was calculated incorrectly, or the product line was changed without updating the target cycle time resulting in an inaccurate OEE. Calculating OEE using the bottom-up method will not only help measure productivity, but will also indicate how accurate your planned target times are. We have now looked at three methods for calculating OEE. Understanding how to calculate the value is only part of truly understanding overall equipment effectiveness. While knowing your OEE percentage is important, the factor is meaningless without understanding the underlying deviations that cause a less than perfect OEE. The four sources of deviations that impact overall equipment effectiveness are operator, machine, material, and information. To learn more about OEE and the four types of deviations, be sure to watch the availability, performance, and quality videos.